full time Chelsea 2, Newcastle United 0. A boring, horrible Monday night. And of course, it would be Newcastle United to concede to Timo Werner, the man who literally missed from one yard out against Leeds. And we've actually conceded and lost the game to to him. But just an awful game. Just no attack and threat. Nothing going forward. And it's a typical Steve Bruce performance. But he'll be encouraged. The gloves are off, are they? He's a fucking dafty man. That that performance does not encourage me one bit, right? Kyle Wilson getting injured, you would think. Gay would step a little bit to the plate. And I know Chelsea and the Rio, they are a really good team and they're their new manager. But why did why did he even start Gale in the first place, right? Gale's a striker where we need to get balled, good balls into the six yard box, right? If it's through the middle or on the wings, right? Did we cross the ball once in that whole game? I don't think we did. I feel sorry for Maximin. Does everything. I might lose the ball. He might miscontrol a, a pass or miscontrol the ball while I'm trying to dribble with it, right? He's got three men on three men on him at all times, right? What's he meant to do? What is he meant to do? If he's got the ball in his feet, right? He's not fucking Superman. He can't just rainbow flick everyone and every and just do flip flaps around every cunt, right? He can't. It's simple, right? He's not good. He's, he's good, but he's not good enough to fucking take on three players for the full game, every stage of the game. He had his centre back, the full back, and the midfielder on him at every times because they knew that every any time we got the ball, play Maxi. Play Maxi, play Maxi, and guess what? It didn't work, right? Simple, right? Uh, I think Joe Willock had a decent game today. He had a chance at the end. Kept, I made a good save. But it was just awful. John Joe Shelby, yet a fucking get. How many weeks have I got to say that he's shit? I I'm sick of saying it. He's our vice captain. He's our fucking vice captain. Why is he starting games when he's simply not good enough? Simply not good enough. Where's where's Sean? Where's Matty? I know that might not have been great this season, right? But surely he can see that he's not been good enough this season. Surely, right? For me, cardalo has got to be dropped now, right? For the first goal, I, this is a, th this video and the in this channel is me. It's Binks NUFC. It's Jordan Binks, right? And this is my opinion, right? You can agree, disagree. This is why you watch the videos for the sake of my process and what I think of a football game because that's what I do at the minute with COVID, right? Carl Dolo should be doing much better for that first goal. If you commit to to the ball going into the six yard box, you've got to win it. If you if it's ever going off for a corner, you claim it or you just boot it away, right? You can't be parrying it out. Parrying it out like no, right? You've got to be much more strong in that position to win the football and he didn't. Second goal, could he have got that winner? Uh, chance he did claim it, but for me, it's we need our number one back, and our number one's Martin Dubravka, who we got on uh, Sunday uh, Sunday evening. Manchester United, who made his debut against Manchester United. Martin Dubravka, get him in, get him in, right, lads, right. We could be honestly, right, by this time next week, so next Monday evening, we could literally be on the verge of get being into the relegation zone, right. Fulham have got a game in hand on us, and they play that. On Wednesday night, Burnley, right? A very winnable game after they've just beat Everton away 2 0, right? They go into the game after against Sheffield United. Newcastle United have just obviously got beat at Chelsea today. And then then got Man United, right? Man two title contenders, right? And then Fulham got two relegation contenders, right? Ha it's not fair for us, right? Because look. We're going into games now, knowing we're going to get beat. Fulham win their next two games against Sheffield United and Fulham with one point above the relegation zone. Sort out, Bruce. Get out of my club, you fat tramp. Uh, it's one of them games. We'll move on to Man United, I guess, then.